This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Happy Monday, kids. We live in a beautiful age where the line between science fiction and science fact becomes more and more blurred. Just one example of this is how far we've come with cloning research and experimentation. Speaking of clones, today's episode is about five animals that have been cloned throughout history. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching Five Weird Animal Facts. Number one, the first animal ever cloned in the history of science was in fact the humble sea urchin. In 1885, a German biologist by the name of Hans Adolf Edward Dreisch was studying the early stages of embryo development. He ran in an experiment to test his theory that separating the cells of an embryo after the first cell division would result in the development of two half embryos. He used sea urchin embryos to test his theory because he was able to separate the cells by simply shaking them apart. To his surprise, both cells developed into healthy adult sea urchins, and thus the first clone ever was created unintentionally. Kind of awesome. The experiment showed that each cell in the early embryo has its own complete set of genetic instructions and can grow into a full organism. This cloning process became known as artificial embryo twinning, and in 1885, I'm sure it was also referred to as witchcraft. Number two, in 1902, a German embryologist with tiny eyebrows named Hans Spemann wanted to take artificial embryo twinning to the next level by attempting the experiment on a vertebrate more specifically a salamander. The problem was that the cells of salamander embryos were stickier and couldn't be shaken apart like sea urchin cells, and in 1902 there were no instruments small enough to separate the cells without damaging them. So Spemin made his own, using a strand of hair from his baby's head. I mean, he could have just used a hair from one of his dumb tiny eyebrows, but whatever. He made a small noose from the hair and tightened it between the two cells of a salamander embryo until they separated. And just like with the sea urchin, each cell developed into genetically identical adult salamanders. Number three, the most famous clone in history, Dolly the Sheep, the first ever clone of an adult mammal. Three separate sheep were actually used to produce Dolly. Sheep number one provided a mammary cell which included the genetic information to create an identical copy. Sheep number two provided an unfertilized egg, and sheep number three acted as a surrogate mother. The nucleus of sheep number one's mammary cell was injected into sheep number two's egg cell. The cell was then stimulated to divide using a small electric shock creating a Frankenstein-like embryo. Finally, the new embryo was implanted into the womb of sheep number three, who carried and gave birth to Dolly on July 5th, 1996. This cloning process is known as somatic cell nuclear transfer. Dolly made headlines worldwide and generated massive controversy over the morality of cloning, some claiming that creating Dolly was like playing God. And you know what? I agree. What right do biologists have to expand our knowledge of genetics and embryo development? I mean, aside from possibly helping researchers discover cures for genetics, genetic disorders, allowing infertile parents to have children, bringing animals from the brink of extinction, and increasing our basic understanding of life as we know it. What's the point? Number four. Hey, remember what I said a second ago about cloning endangered animals to help bring them back from the brink of extinction? Well, in 2003, a group of smart people at Advanced Cell Technology in Worcester, Massachusetts did exactly that. The animal clone was a species of wild bovine from Java called a bantang. The birth of this beautiful bouncing baby boy bantang was made possible using frozen tissue from a male bantang that died in 1980. Scientists inserted the nucleus of a skin cell into an unfertilized cow egg and injected the resulting embryo into a surrogate mama cow. After 30 embryo injections and 15 unsuccessful pregnancies, a healthy baby Bantang clone was finally born. Number 5. In 2007, researchers took a cell from an adult rhesus monkey and fused it with an egg cell using somatic cell nuclear transfer, the same process used to clone Dolly and the Bantang. The embryo developed for a short period of time before its stem cells were transferred into a culture dish. This was a major step towards eventually cloning human embryonic stem cells in 2013, and maybe someday even cloning humans, which I think could be beneficial for a number of reasons. Ooh, controversy. A respectful discussion in the comments about the ethics of human cloning would be super rad, so let's make that happen. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video, and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. Check out all my social media crap if you want to, and until next time my friends, my name is Jason Miller, and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more 5 Weird Animal Facts, go ahead and click this annotation right here. It'll take you to the playlist. And if you want to see more animal-related content, go ahead and click this annotation right here. We got 5 Weird Animal Facts every Monday, Snake Bites TV every Wednesday, and more awesome content coming in the near future. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.